Hi, I wanted to make one final <clears throat> video before the weekend is over about uh, education, the importance of education in relation uh, to being a man going his own way. Uh, and it is a very important issue. And I'm going to speak from personal experience and try to add my perspective to something. And uh, in particular, not exclusively, this is addressed to, well, young MRAs, I say 25 and younger, or men going their own way, people who've caught on a lot earlier. You know, I wish I had caught on earlier, but, you know, the, the, the ship has sailed for me. And in particular, because the ship has sailed for me, um, I think I can add some insight to the education issue in relation to men going their own way. Well, one thing uh, that we need, one needs to uh, disavow is this notion that any education will do. Um, unfortunately, education is something that's rather ill-defined um, and rather nebulous and quite abstract, but people seem to have some common consensus on what it is. The fact is, the simple fact is, that um, education needs to give you something uh, in, in real terms. Uh, when I was growing up, and when I went to university in the mid-90s, uh, there was still the ruling notion, um, before the economic crisis, of course, that <clears throat> any education would do. And I enjoyed what I studied for the most part, my bachelor degree was in German and classics, i.e. Latin, ancient classical literature, Latin, Greek, as well as languages. Uh, it certainly didn't lead anywhere uh, in terms of employment, but I sort of bought into the propaganda back then. But being a young man, which I'm not, but being a young man and having the opportunity to, to study, to get a real education, uh, I would strongly suggest studying something technical, uh, and barring that, something that you know there is market demand for, and in particular market demand that will not recede uh, given an oppressive economic environment or situation. So, for example, engineering. I think it's really fantastic that Barbarossa, I don't know if it was his by design and intent, decide to study engineering. There are plenty of men who enjoy it for its own sake, but um, even if you don't enjoy it and you you're, you have some talent and you can grit your teeth and bear it, I would suggest you just go for it and you know get it done. The reason simply being whether it's engineering or uh, I suppose uh, I'm trying to think of some other computer science, um, those those in particular those kinds of jobs, uh, strong engineering, computer science, for example, those fields they also give you a lot of flexibility and mobility. That means you're not grounded in the country you're stuck in, uh, that you grew up in. You can you can leave, for example. There are plenty of engineering jobs offer, offered abroad, as well as um, jobs in computer science, information science, things like that. But one thing you don't want to do if you decide to spend the money and invest the time and energy in education is essentially wasted studying humanities and social sciences. And this is someone who kind of enjoys that stuff, but you can always just do some weekend reading on that stuff, and uh, it'll be a lot cheaper and uh, probably more enjoyable than having some university professor dictate to you what he thinks. Um, so education is important, but it's very clear. It, it, we need to be clear about what, what an education can be used for. And if you want to be truly independent, um, you need, unfortunately, for better or worse, to be an economic asset. Um, so if you're in a position to be that asset, uh, and and only your performance matters, and political bias and all these other things won't affect you, the best way to do that is to be involved in some sort of technical field and be uh, reasonably proficient in it. Uh, it took me a long time to realize this lesson, and only my, my last master's degree was reasonably utilitarian. Um, I still... I'm still benefiting in some ways from it, and in the future, and hope to benefit from it more so. But uh, I think if I could go back in time, and I had the talent and the aptitude, and those are debatable, uh, I probably would have gone along studying something technical. But this is very important because 
if you don't study these things, you could well likely end up uh, with empty hands and with no uh, market uh, availability as, in terms of employment. And that's not a good thing, particularly if you want to go your own way. If you want to go your own way, you have to strive for some kind of independence, particularly financial independence. And uh, those technical fields, in particular, are the best ways to go about it. No one's forcing you to do that, but that would be my suggestion. Um, because it, it happens too frequently that people study things in university that aren't really, I don't like using the term necessary, but economically viable. Um, and no, studying finance, in my opinion, generally speaking, is not economically viable. Things that are really recession-proof, technical fields in particular, in fact, I think that's the only thing that's recession-proof, are uh, are really the things to be studied, in my opinion. Moreover, you might not go to university beyond... If you're not going to go to university to study those things, I wouldn't even bother going to university. Learn a trade, become a plumber, become a carpenter. These things are also constantly in need. Become an auto mechanic. There are... There's a plethora um, of fields and areas that don't involve university education that are essentially requirements, the services of which are always required by people. Um, beyond getting special training as an engineer, as a computer scientist, as a um, some other technical profession, uh, going to university is more or less a waste of time and money. There's no need to go to university to read about medieval history. You can always pick up a book about that. There are plenty of books. If you're interested in languages, like I used to be in a, when I was young, um, you could always just take a language course at a private institution. So there's no, there's no re pressing reason to really study any of these things. Uh, one thing that's I, uh, fairly easy to say is it's probably difficult to study engineering on your own. I'm sure it's possible, but so that's one reason why you might have a you know, university education. But you don't, certainly don't need one, and, and like I said, carpentry, mechanics, uh, plumbing, there, there's so many things that are really required services in this society um, that will allow you to be uh, more or less independent. And you don't need a university education for it, and you'll uh, be better off for it. Education uh, is, quite frankly, overrated, at least in the traditional sense. And whatever you end up doing with your life, the important thing is to do something that will eventually lead to you being economically viable. Not to necessarily, certainly not to participate in the rat race, but to allow yourself to survive in a comfortable fashion and uh, pursue your own goals and do your own thing uh, without having to worry about issues of employment, finding a job, and things like that. Uh, ideally, the job should come to you, or you should come to the job through a wide selection of choices available to you. And that generally can only be achieved uh, if you have the qualifications, whatever they might be, as a plumber or uh, an auto mechanic or a chemical engineer, to do so. For me, uh, the ship has sailed on that issue, and so I try to make do with what education I have received and what I uh, what I do have in terms of uh, degrees. Uh, I think it's been a long process, thought process. I think I long a while back I lived in Asia. I think um, it's quite likely by the end of this year I might be moving back to Asia in a long-term capacity for the simple reasons that uh, I can make my better money there. No other reason, really. I don't find much of value in the society I live in currently, and in a way, it almost suits being a man going in his own way, because you're a complete outcast in most Asian cultures anyway. So, kind of, uh, kind of fits the lifestyle, I suppose. But more importantly, I can, I can make better money there and have a better lifestyle than I do now. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't know if that's definite, but... Given the limitations, my educational limitations, and what I've pursued when I, when I was younger, uh, that that's probably the best choice for me. Um, and 
these are just ideas and suggestions. I think ultimately every man going his way or his own way needs to make a choice about these things. But it certainly is helpful to be able uh, to command uh, a strong marketability um, in, a, in a field that really uh, is recession proof, that allows you to be independent. Um, and I mean, engineering is always the first thing that comes to mind. Uh, I've never heard of a surplus of engineers, although strangely enough, I heard of a surplus of computer science. And that, that, that sort of seemed to uh, even itself out at, uh, at the end of the day. But um, there's a lot of junk in academia that's not, not worth studying in the university environment. Uh, I'd say 90% of it is the case. And you'd be best uh, off not pursuing it at all, rather. Pursue something uh, practical, an application. Um, you'll be happier for it. Like I said, if I go back in time, I do things differently. But I thought maybe I can add some insight for someone who's a bit older, who made what I can safely say in retrospect uh, are educational mistakes, and uh, to some extent has paid the price and probably will do so for the rest of his life. Um, quite, I mean, it's. Whatever people might say, I'm, I'm tired myself, I'm tired of studying, I'm not going to go be going back to university anytime soon, and so I'm not going to randomly pursue some engineering degree without the background. But uh, for the younger people, younger men, I suggest you do something along those lines, or like I say, become a carpenter, become something that, uh, that gives you some decent money that really is required. Um, that, that's probably the most important thing. What you don't want to do, uh, to say it quite bluntly, is, you know, finish university with a fucking English degree. Um, you know, at least I studied foreign languages, so having done so uh, gave me some background, which eventually led to translation eventually. But if all you do is study to get an English degree, it's pretty useless. Um, and so you should be aware of these things if, if you're young. And I know there are plenty of men going their own way who aren't, who are my age or older, um, but I, I would suspect they might agree with me on this, that education needs to be a, a, a useful tool. And going to university to study to, to read for an English degree or something like that simply isn't, um, isn't very useful. Um, and the mobility factor can be important. Um, one reason why I think it's important to be mobile in terms of the labor market is uh, most Western co countries have draconian taxes, which means you don't keep a whole lot of what you earn. That's one example. Um, let's say if you have, you have a good engineering degree and you get a job offer in, I don't know, Singapore or someplace else, um, your earning potential will generally be much better, um, or Dubai, because you're going to be paying a lot less taxes. Um, you're also not going to be burdened by a lot of uh, Western women trying to uh, drain the money from your coffers. That seems, that's like a fringe benefit, I guess. But anyway, these are just some random thoughts I have on the issue. Um, be practical in your decisions, whether it's a, a apprenticeship training for some sort of practical trade, learning a trade, which is equally valid, or university education for something that's very complicated, like chemical or mechanical engineering. Um, you know, think practically. If you still have the opportunity, you're young enough, you have the funds. Uh, otherwise, um, my suggestion is do what, do to be as practical as you can given what, what you do have. If you are older, um, that's what I've been trying to do. And hopefully it'll work out. Like I said, probably going to be moving back to Asia at some point in time. In the not too distant future, there's not much for me here in Germany. Uh, I've lived here before. And uh, I certainly can't save money, and I don't really have a really have a social network anywhere, so that doesn't really matter. Um, so yeah, um, got to make do with what you have. But if you can learn something practical, study something practical. If you have the opportunity to go to university, don't waste it studying social sciences or humanities. Um, I think you'll you'll benefit from it a lot more. Uh, you'll you'll be thankful in the end, at the end of the day, basically, and you won't have too much regret. I think uh, you can always study these things in your free time, weekends, what have you. 
hell, you can have internet discussions about it. You don't need to go to university to study medieval history, as I said, or anything along, or even classics for that matter. So anyway, this is some random thoughts, but uh, you know, something important to note, I think.